So many people nowadays are complaining about reality in the way it is instead of acknowledging reality in the way it is and making decisions to make their life better. You must embrace personal responsibility. And that's what I'm going to be talking about here today. If you don't know who I am, my name is Stone Fredrickson. I'm 19 years old. I own a six-figure company. I've built two TikTok accounts, over 150,000 followers in less than three months talking about money and self-improvement on one and social media and content creation on the other, which is what I do here on YouTube as well. So let's dive in. This is something I believe every teenager and young adult needs to hear that will change your life. Listen, the world isn't fair. It doesn't owe you shit and you don't deserve anything. So many people nowadays are complaining about reality in the way it is instead of acknowledging reality in the way it is and making decisions to make their life better. You must embrace personal responsibility. And that's what I'm going to be talking about here today. You see, the importance of personal responsibility is crucial for your personal growth and success. Because when you embrace personal responsibility, it means that you're acknowledging that your choices, your decisions and actions have a direct impact on your life. When you embrace personal responsibility, you are taking ownership of the consequences that result from the actions that you took. When you take personal responsibility, you take control over your life. You see, people don't understand the benefits of taking personal responsibility. They don't understand that it, it increases your confidence. It improves your relationships. It allows you to be in this state of staying true to your values and your beliefs. But more importantly, you stop making excuses. You stop complaining and you stop blaming other people for how your life is. So to embrace personal responsibility, it's important to number one, hold yourself accountable to your actions, acknowledge what you're doing and when you are doing something right and something wrong. This is where you must be honest with yourself in terms of surrounding yourself with the right people, doing the right things, doing the wrong things, doing things that you know won't benefit your life, doing the things that are not in line with your goals, doing things that are aligned with your goals and doing more of those. So having a to-do list, but more importantly, having a not to-do list, but keeping yourself accountable, okay? This is super important. People do the shitty things that make their life shitty and then complain about why their life is shitty. No, keep yourself accountable and understand why your life is shitty. It's super, it's super crucial. And a lot of people do the opposite. People do the things that they know they need to get done in order to achieve the, the life that they want. People do the things that are good for their life, but don't hold themselves accountable in, in celebrating those wins and realizing that those are the things that they need to continue doing. Instead, they look at it and they're like, this, this is hard. I don't know if I can, I, I should continue doing this. But little do they know, that's what's creating their happiness and success when in their business, in their career, networking with other people, out with other people, hanging around with people, giving them the freedom to go hang around with people. This is so important. Now, number two, and I think this is, goes along with that, is take initiative and be proactive. Take action to benefit your life. The things we fear most are often the things that we must do. So many people nowadays are just consuming so much information and in this analysis paralysis state because they're so fearful and so afraid of failing. They're so afraid of taking action because they know that they have the chance of failing and having this presence of a failure. Listen, the things that we fear most are often the things that we must do. Failing is a part of life, but so many people get in this information overload state and they're stressed and they're overwhelmed and they're not taking action. So many people ask me how to get started, how to do this, how do I become successful? And those are the same people that say the same thing six months later. You need to start, just pick something and start. That's exactly what I did. I started a drop shipping store. I spent a thousand dollars that I saved up and yeah, I lost that a thousand dollars, but you know what? It helped me develop the skills that I now have today marketing, product development, customer retention, customer satisfaction, gaining testimonials and reviews, setting up a website, building a team, leading a team, right? All these things again. And that goes back to what we were talking about with a, a growth mindset. When you have a growth mindset, it allows you to, to view your failures as opportunities rather than setbacks. This is so crucial guys. You need to take initiative and be proactive and grow and develop yourself. The most simple thing that you can do is make your bed and clean your room. This is one of the reasons why it's Jordan Peterson's 12 rules for life, because a lot of people are out here complaining about p other people, about their life, yet they don't even have their own bedroom in order. Take initiative and get your life in order. 
Be honest with yourself. Acknowledge when you're doing something right or when you're doing something wrong. And then lastly, number three, make decisions based on your values and priorities. Take the time to reflect on what is most important to you and what you value, what you truly value, not what other people value, not what you need to value in order to impress other people, what you truly value. And that might be different. That might be completely different from other people. And that's perfectly fine. However, a lot of people are not willing to deal with that because they're so focused on other people and impressing other people. And they're not in full control of their life. They're, la- they're, they're letting other people control their life. And as soon as I started doing things that I truly value, as soon as I started doing things that I wanted to do and that I was passionate about and that I valued is when I started to cut out a lot of people in my life that now look back out on, I was really just trying to impress my entire life. And when I cut them out, I really stayed a lot more focused on what I truly valued and I became a lot more happier because I wasn't focused on them, what they were doing and what I should be doing in order to impress them and gain that relationship uh, and, and their attention. It's so crucial. You must make decisions that align with your values, your goals and your priorities. Take control of your life. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this one and this one. Appreciate you.